everyone, this is Sarah and welcome to my kitchen. On today's session is kochi shor. What that is, is the Afghan soft salty cookies. It is very traditional with the, the recipe and the shape, but uh, there are a few ways to make them. So today I'll show you an easy recipe, a very easy one, and uh, let's go to the ingredients. The kochi shor recipe, which is the Afghan soft um, salty cookies. Here I have about three cups of uh, all-purpose flour. This is white flour. We need three eggs, half a cup of uh, room temperature butter you can use or you can use melted butter, make sure it's not hot. One teaspoon of uh, baking powder. I'm using a uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Now, if your butter is salted, then you don't need the salt. But if it's unsalted, then you need to add half a teaspoon of salt. So let's go to the baking. First, I'll begin by mixing all the eggs together. Next, add the butter. Once you add the room temperature melted butter, I'm going to add uh, one teaspoon of uh, baking powder and a half a teaspoon of the salt. Next, I'm gonna add the flour, but I'm gonna divide it into two. So I'll divide about one and a half cups first. And now I'm going to add all the flours and using a wooden spoon or your hands to make this into a nice firm dough. So now this is ready to be shaped in a round shapes of the kulcha. You will notice that I did not add any water nor any milk. But if your dough is very sticky, you can add a little more flour. But if it's very hard, try to use a few tablespoons of milk, warm look warm milk. So now this is ready. I have my baking sh uh, tray here and I have a wax paper on top so it doesn't get stick. Now it's up to you if you want to make small kulchas or medium kulchas. I'm making just about a medium size here so I'm going to go ahead and take this and make it into a round uh, medium type of uh, balls here. Alright so now it's time to make the shape. So you take one of your um, dough here. Obviously we, you have to make a nice circle here. And then you will press down with your thumb. So press down as much as you can, okay? And then you need a knife. If you have a sharp knife, it's better. Just be careful. You're just gonna uh, twist it towards the knife, nice and hard, and make a like a like a, just sl slice it. Pretend you're slicing it. So something like that, up and down, about four or six times. And then when you're done, you're gonna press again with your thumb, hard, right down and you should get a shape of uh, kulcha, something like this, okay? So you continue with all of them. Now I'm going to sprinkle some uh, black seeds here. Uh, this is the brand that I'm using. This is optional, you can also use the poppy seeds if you like. So you will notice that some of them will come up back because of the dough. Just press down again if you need to, if it's necessarily. And then we're just gonna sprinkle some of the black seeds just in the middle because it's this recipe is very traditional you know so they must have this black seed but you don't have to if you don't want to and this is ready to go in the oven I'm going to place this in the oven I have it uh, preheated on 350 degree and we're just going to leave it in the bottom for between 15 to good 20 minutes and then we'll check on it what I have here is one egg yolk, just the yolk part, not the white part. And I'm adding one tablespoon of milk. What this does is gives you that shiny glaze. So I'm going to go ahead and spread it on top just to get that shiny uh, glaze going. It's just been a little over 15 minutes. So I'm just going to place this on a top. But before that, I'm going to apply the egg yolk that I have here with the milk. And if you see that's puffing up like that, you can use something to press it down a little bit more, if that helps. But other than that, you need to apply the uh, egg yolk on top to get the glaze shiny here. I'm going to place this back on the top part, still on 350 degree for another 15 minutes. And here is a delicious homemade of uh, kulche shor, which is the Afghan salty cookies. And uh, you can try this uh, or serve this with kaimok chai, which is the Afghan uh, milk pink tea. I'll put a link so you, uh, so you guys can know the recipe. I already have that. Or you can try this with any sort of uh, sweet drink, coffee, even chai tea, Indian chai tea. I also have a recipe for that, so I'll put a link for you guys. And uh, hopefully you guys all will get a chance to try this uh, wonderful easy recipe. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.